right, y'all. So who's ready to get spicy with me today? Today we're going to be talking about the Wall Street Journal article, which I know everybody has read and I just needed a minute to get myself together before I address the article. So today I'm going to be talking about the Wall Street Journal article and uh, yeah, why it's hecka wrong. I'm just going to say this as a disclaimer, I'm going to be spicy, it's just how I feel about this article right here i feel spicy about it okay so if you don't know what this article is you have been living under a rock as an administrative professional or you're not in the field and you have no idea what i'm talking about which if that's you i'm so glad that you joined because today is going to be educational for you okay all right well i gotta say when this article first came out i was like oh no that did not just happen and then i just realized but you know what though this is the issue in the industry <laughs> literally nobody knows what we do and this Right here is what people think we do. No wonder people are struggling. No wonder we are struggling to do our jobs because people think we bring them coffee and that we're looking for filing cabinets and landlines because, I don't know, this is 1939? I don't know. Okay, so this is basically the article. Uh, it says, executive assistants once ran the office. Increasingly, the office runs without them. Not true. I just can't, okay. I'm gonna try y'all. Technology and automation have chipped away at duties like papers, <laughs> like papers to be filed and landlines to be answered. I have not answered a landline, I don't even know when, and I don't file papers, but okay, whatever. A new generation of corporate leaders are content to schedule their meetings and book flights on their own. Might be true but I also know executives who cannot find the restroom after their meeting. Really, y'all? Okay. Blah, blah, blah. She goes on and gives some interesting statistics. Okay, so let's go here. Um, during her years at the Hockey League, she had her boss's favorite salad committed to memory down to the dressing. In her more recent stints, she was out of a job before she had a chance to learn such details about her executive. Okay, deep breath. Okay, so how do I explain this to people who have no idea what we do? I might know my, exec my executive's favorite salad because I spend so much on time with him. And by the way, he knows what I like in my salads too. Just saying. Um, <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to this, that she had a chance to learn details about her executives. Yeah, like I know exactly what kind of meeting my executive likes to have and when he likes to have it. I know exactly what he wants to be presented to, the when, the how, the why, the who. Forget about a salad. I know what he's doing to drive the business. Several current and former assistants cited fear of repercussions for giving any details about their job duties or salaries. Okay, I have no such fears. Let me just break it down to you. Um, there are admins all around the US right now who are banking 130K and upwards. If you would get a job in Houston right now supporting a CEO, feel free to look for a job at least 100K. Now, I will say that it is, it varies by industry, it varies by city, it varies by your skill set. Many of the women whose positions vanished are now in their 50s and 60s. I think that's absolutely true. I think that's an issue that we have in our industry that we need to do continued education. We need to help the women who started in the role 30 years ago and who are struggling to get training and education so that they can up level those skills and stay in the game. That is not an issue with these women, it is an issue with the industry. Just saying, y'all. Um, the workers are taking their place are often younger and have college degrees. Some make half as much money while supporting more executives. I would totally agree with that. Is it best practice? No. Is it ignorant? Yes. The issue is that people seriously have no idea what we do. They just don't. They think that we bring them coffee and it's important for us to know our executive salad choices, except they have no clue that we're actually driving the business. 
Week one of my job, I was making decisions on teeny policies. Week one. I do think that there is this trend that there is this break in relationship with the executive business partner. I also think people, because they have no idea what we do, they're doing all sorts of weird and crazy things with the reporting structures for admins. It's a hot mess. There are EA advocates who've been in this industry for a very long time supporting very high powered executives who know what we're doing and know what we're talking about. Feel free to reach out to any of us. We would be happy to explain it to you and to help you. So come on over y'all. So then it goes into this whole thing about remote executive assistance. And can I just say how hard that is? When you're supporting an executive at a really high level, you have to be almost glued to their hip, right? Not because you're trying to figure out if they've eaten their salad today, but because you have to be so connected into the business that you are running it, you are literally running the business for your executive. That's why you have to be connected to the hip. If you have a bunch of EAs that are more junior in their career, yes, absolutely. You can centralize a space for them to do a, calendar scheduling and travel and do all that stuff, absolutely. But the higher level that you get, you should be having more one-on-one -on -one support and not less. Uh, if somebody is not in our office, yet we have somebody commuting into the office to be their assistant, where's the, where's the disconnect? Well, the disconnect is that you don't know how to use your admins. That's what I'm saying. It's a thing. Like, if you wonder why EAs are traveling with their executive, it's because they're driving the business. If you are wondering why EAs are attending meetings as a delegate for their executive, it's because they're driving the business. If you are wondering why there is a high-powered executive right next to a high-powered EA and why it's working so well, it's because they've learned to have a strategic partnership and they've brought in their mindset to go, oh, they just get coffee and fine salads for me. Seriously, come on, y'all. I told you I was gonna be spicy. I gave you the disclaimer before you watched it. The interview said, sometimes I do 13 expense reports in one week. Who's got time to bond? Okay, so here's the thing. There are literal Facebook groups with thousands, and I'm like talking like 10,000 admins who have a space to go because they are struggling with how do I, how do I get other people to understand what I do, right? And what we're constantly, trying to educate and train them is own your space, set up standards. You are not the office mom. You are not everybody's like minion. You have strategic impact to the business and you have to be allowed to own that space. There is no way on this planet that I would be doing expense reports for 13 people each week. If you have to do that as part of your job, here's some free advice. You plan and set a schedule as to when you're gonna do it and you do it based on your timeline and your strategic priorities and not when they feel like dropping it off to your desk. Just saying, own your space. If you think that there is not disrespect happening in the business, you're wrong. If you think that admins are doing this very low level work, you're wrong. And if that's what you think that we do, please come and get educated and understand what a strategic partnership looks like. It is driving the business, it is understanding the business just like your executive. It has, these women and men that are in this industry have incredible business acumen. What we do is absolutely critical to the business. And it is okay that you have processes in place. It is okay that you manage your own um, workflow. It is okay that you set up expectations and boundaries just like anyone else. And if you are in an organization who doesn't allow you to do that, then you know what? It's time for you to go find a new spot because there are absolutely organizations out there who are interesting with partnering with high level executive assistants and administrative professionals who are killing it in their field and they want you to come join them. Don't let other people's misperception of our profession limit you within your role. If people do not understand what you're doing, take the opportunity to educate them. If you would like to do more, ask for it. If you need to set up a process, do it. I promise you that our profession has changed and is going to continue to change. And there is a group of us shouting from the rooftops that you should come on and join the revolution.